So basically, like, me and my family, like, I don't fuck with my family because, like, like I said, I feel like they abandoned me. Like, at a young age, my mom died, like, at mm-hmm. 12 o'clock. At, I said at 12 o'clock. At 12, right. 12 years old. old. At okay. 12 years old, my mom passed away. Rest in peace she to got, her. She got hit by a car. Mm. It was a hit and run. But she survived the hit and run, but then she died in the hospital. Complications? Yeah. Yeah, and then after that, I moved in with my aunt, and my aunt was not the nicest person. Mm. And her boyfriend wasn't a good person either. Uh, so you was going through some some battles in the household with them? Yeah. Could you talk about it or nah? Yeah, I could talk about it. Basically, like, my my aunt's boyfriend would, like, touch me and, like, mm. sexually abuse me. And then, like, I couldn't really go to my aunt and tell her about what was happening because my aunt was the one, like, letting him do it. Like, mm. my aunt. So she was aware of what was going on. Like, she would drug me. So that mm. he could take advantage of me. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay. And then, like, me and my brother fell out because, like, I call myself Scarlet, and I got a scar on my lip because my brother attacked me, and he gave me a scar on my lip. And so that's why I call myself Scarlet. Okay. Could could you break down the story of how the scar came about? Yeah. The story? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, basically, I was coming from a basketball... I was coming home, right? Mm-hmm. And I was going to... I was going to not a basketball game, a football game with my friends. And my aunt basically was like, you got to be home at a certain time. If you're not home, we're not going to let you in or all whatever. Right. My so mom used like, to do the same thing to me. Yeah. So I was like, all right, I'm going to make sure I come home on time. So I went to the game or whatever. I made sure I came back earlier than the time I was supposed to come back. And I knocked on the door and basically they acted like they wasn't home. Like they hmm. acted like they didn't, they wasn't there. They acted like they, they just... And then after that, like, my sister, like, I kept banging, banging on the door, and then my sister came down, and she was like, you can't come in, you can't come in, or whatever. So I'm like, all right, whatever, I'm going to just find a place to stay for tonight. I'm going to just go to one of my friend's house or whatever. So I'm walking, and then my brother come outside, and then he's like, he basically asking me for money. This time the third, I, I need some money, da, da, da. And it's I'm your like, older brother? Mm-hmm. Mm. And I'm like, bro, like, I don't got no bread, like, she just kicked me out the crib, like, I don't got no money, like, like just chill or whatever. But he wasn't on no chill shit. And then he was basically like, well, she wouldn't have kicked you out if you wasn't outside being a little hoe, da 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 And then I'm like, bro, whatever, like, fuck you. Like, I'm not even on that shit. So I, was, right. I kept walking. And then he was like, so you're not going to give me no money? And I was like, no, I don't got no money. And he just punched me. And then when he punched me, like, I just fell back. And then, like, I just started seeing stars and shit. Like, I, like, blacked out. And then I woke up. And then I woke up in the like in the street, like, mm. and then my mouth like was bleeding. It was blood everywhere, squirting from my mouth. I just started screaming, like, please could somebody help me? Please could somebody help me? And then the neighbors came, and then the neighbors came outside and then they were screaming at my brother, like, how could you do that? Like, how right could you to your own her? sister. Yeah, and then they called the ambulance and then the ambulance came. And basically they was like, Listen, it's not safe. One of them have to go and one of them have to stay. Like, they can't both be in the same home anymore because it's not safe or whatever. And then my aunt basically said, take her, basically. And mm. so I felt like that's why I feel like... Right, so that's yeah. why. And I can completely respect that. At a time when your auntie was supposed to come be at your side and help you and be there for you, you you felt like she abandoned you, which she did, and you know what I'm saying, you ended up... But at the same time, though, we would all say that, that you had to go through these situations to be exactly who you are today. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure that that made you into a stronger individual. It might have sent you on a different path. You know what I'm saying? Now you got your name. Now it's like it's a part of you now. You know what I'm saying? But clearly you you came past it. And I don't want to get into that story to bring up your demons. It's just it's it's people that's going through shit at home and they, this could be the only thing that they watching. You know what I'm saying? That a show him that you could go through these situations and still shine mm-hmm. and still, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and be who, who you're supposed to be in life type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How did you come to the moment that you wanted to be transparent with your followers and let them know what happened to you? Okay, so I never was going to ever tell my story ever, like, and to rap about it. Like, I was just like, fuck it. Like, right, I'm going to just leave that in the past. Yeah, just leave it alone and shit like that. But I had this girl named Courtney Keneally, and she texted me, and she she always seen me rapping and stuff, right? Because I was before I shared my story, I was still doing freestyles or whatever. And she said, like... She was just like, Scar, I love how you, you could do these, you could write your words and stuff like that. And she opened to me about her story. Mm. And it was similar to my story. And so, like, 
Made just, you feel comfortable. Yeah, basically. And then I just mm-hmm. started. And it worked. And that's why everybody think. Everybody think I blew up because of something else. But I blew up like in 2018, right? But I didn't blow up, blow up, obviously. Right, you just I started getting recognition. I started getting recognition. And that was from my story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm, so how old were you when that did happen? What what age was the was the incident with your brother? That was around 16 years old. Okay, so 16, and then and then how long after that did you get the name? Like, or when did you? Yeah, I, I got two questions. When did you get the name, and did you like it when it first came across? How did you get it, and did you like it? All right, so when I I got the name because I was like, let me just call myself Scarlet because remember I said I loved Scarface, mm-hmm. and I was rapping. I was like, yo, let me just. Scar fit, scar lip. Like, let me right. just Right, your own version. Yeah, my own version. And do I like it? Yeah, because I don't think nobody else got that name. So right, that's why. and I it's like unique it. to and, you. And it's unique to me, and it's also... I feel like, just like what you said, I feel like it's more me not being, like, a victim of this thing. Right, you, you owning it. it. You owning putting it. it on. Yeah. Right. Did any of your family uh, members come to your defense when the situations, when both situations happened? Nah. Nobody? They didn't fuck with me. My family ain't fuck with me. Wow. Hmm. Wow. Well, yeah, you're definitely an inspiration to other girls because you, I, um, I follow this girl who she's, um, I don't want to share the whole thing, but she's in a wheelchair and she had like a crazy situation where she was at an event with somebody and then she got shot and now she like will never be able to, you know, walk again, but she go viral. Uh And when you see somebody embracing their situation and making like, you know, the best out of it, that's like truly fucking inspirational. So now you're doing music and you're going by the name Scarlet and you got a sick, crazy past that a lot of girls can identify with. I can identify with your story. So thank you for being open to sharing, you know, your story with us. You. Um, what was your name before Scarlet though? Sierra. Sierra. Mm. So you, Sierra. you were just going by the government? Yeah. Okay, Sierra. okay, okay. Sierra what? Just Sierra Big C? Like Sierra oh, with an oh, S? CC. CC? Okay, okay. Okay, okay. So you wasn't rapping yet? It, it, it was still poetry? It was just... At, at that time? Yeah. Hmm, let me think. Before before I did the, that, I was just doing freestyles. Like some like I was doing remixes to people's songs mm. back then. Mm-hmm. So then I did poetry. Yo, we just hit 400,000 subscribers right here on the Clips channel. So if you want to help us out, click subscribe, get us to 500K. Yeah.